Today on Overkill Studios, we will attempt to just damage eggs. Like, I don't know, what happens when you just actually attack eggs with heat? Like, not scrambling eggs, just regular eggs out of the refrigerator, cold eggs. We promise they're cold when they're out of the refrigerator. We will use the Wicked Lasers Torch, the Wicked Lasers Arctic uh, S3, S3 uh, 1000 milliwatts blue laser. Um, we'll film it via this camera, which we have <laughs> jerry-rigged um, tanning mask goggles on so that it won't be too overexposed. Uh, don't worry, that part of the video will be via that and not through this. Um, and... And we'll probably use a actual torch, a really powerful lighter. All right, so that's pretty much how it's going to go down. Hopefully I don't break my camera doing this. Oh, it's still recording all this time. That's pretty funny. This is a Total Overkill Studios video. Maybe we should just keep going. Uh, nah. Minute, no, just go. Yeah, keep okay. going? Uh, we'll just cut it out. Yeah, well, well, we'll have to do that now at my house. Can we do that? Yeah? Yeah, most likely. Okay, whatever. Anyways, we normally do uncut anyways, but it's funny. All right, definitely look away now. Though the egg is definitely burned. All right, anyways. Okay. Turn it back on. You looking away? Yep. All right, I'm just going to leave it there for a few seconds. I don't think anything's going to happen. I mean, it's blackening the surface, but it's not like the end of the world. It looks pretty awesome on the screen, though. I wish I could experience this. I'm sorry. If I win another laser, I'll get another set of goggles, and you can watch, too. Yay. Hear that? Burned off of the paper. I shouldn't do that because it reflects light back into the uh, diode or whatever it's gone. All right, that will conclude the laser test. However impressive that was, with the burning lens. Yep, you can look. All right, so uh, it did some burning, uh, which would be assumed, which actually is kind of impressive. Punched a nice little hole for the piece of paper, which is kind of cool. Oh. Uh, in like one second when I aimed it there, but uh, eggs seem to be highly resistant to the laser uh, beams. to laser beams. Next, next. That's how you get, how do we defeat the aliens? Duh, alien beams. We shoot lasers beams at us. We just throw eggs at the laser beams. That's what you do? The lasers. All right, for the next test, I just realized to get the camera out of the way of danger, I'm going to use the telephoto lens, so this video will take up in like one second. Okay, telephoto lens is on here. Now the camera's about seven feet from the egg, and now we're going to use the Wicked Lasers torch. I've replaced the, uh, the paper plate with tinfoil on it so it won't set on fire because the torch is really intense. I don't know what would happen. Nothing might happen. It might just crack or sit there, but this is, this is the next level. So, scramble these eggs. Oh, 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 oh. You Can you tell me how it looks from the camera point of view? It looks like the egg is glowing red. <laughs> Good. You just killed Jason. Uh -huh. Poor Jason. Alright, so far, not too much action. I hope this thing doesn't just blow up on me. That'd be so, I just nice. realized that this would be kind of like putting a water bottle on the fire because the inside is cold. And the outside is... It On fire! Matter. Well, not yet. Hmm. So Would it make nothing. more sense if we poked a little hole in it? For what purpose is? So it can steam off, not explode. Oh, oh yeah, that would probably help. Um, but that would be silly. Don't we want molten egg yolk all over us? Well, I'm far enough away so that it'll get only on your camera. I know. And on me. Um, so far, still no smoke. But uh, I'm hitting with all I've got. The 
step away for a second. Yeah, not much is really happening. All right, I'm going to conclude this session of the, uh, the torch. We'll go back to this later. Maybe with something else burnable. We now know, though, you can't just burn through the side of an egg. Well, well, we, we couldn't using this technology. No. We're going to move on. To the blowtorch. To the blowtorch. My friend's lighter the will blow, be the next thing. Blow lighter. So, all right. Friend's lighter is online. Do your best or worst. I don't know how smart this is. I don't know how many people have done this. Well, it's definitely now carbon on the outside. Well, we've realized eggs are insanely... St yeah, don't step on eggshells. Well, you can set eggshells on fire because it doesn't seem to do anything. Whenever you want to give up, we can throw in the sun gun. I think there's no chance of getting through the side of this. Or maybe the sun gun can finish it off. Yeah, just just burns. Just burns. All right, we're gonna bring out my other flashlight that I built in one second. All right, so the battery's about to die on the camera, but this is the brightest, most intense burning light I own. Let's see if uh, this can give it a go. Sexually. And we're using the other side of the egg that has not been damaged. Oh, this is weird. It's just not combusting or exploding or something. It's not on fire, which just doesn't make sense. Mm, I can smell it, though. We're making a chicken. Yeah, this is how it works. Oh, I start some smoke. Come on, sun gun. Are you sure it isn't just your hand lighting on fire? It might be. I can like smell it. Yeah, I can smell it too, but every once in a while there's a little puff of smoke, but I don't think we can get through. Alright, I'll give it 10 more seconds. Oh, wait, I'm going to stop because there's a lot of smoke now. Start bubbling up from the side your uh, damage was from. <laughs> well, now it's not smoking at all. Yeah, but it's turning black like crazy. The power of photons! Wicked lasers, try and build a light this bright. That'd be impressive. Ah, uh, no, that burns as well. Alright, I'm about to give up here. Alright, because I saw some smoke. Alright, another 10 seconds since it stopped. Alright. I say let's switch to the, uh, to the, your phone. My what? Your phone. My We're phone. recording. Is this, like, out of power yet? It will be any second now. Alright, this is it for... So here are the results. Uh, laser did some damage. Uh, the the torch, not not too much. The uh, triple flame bl uh, blowtorch like lighter did some damage there, and then my uh, twenty thousand lumen uh, incandescent light uh, scorched it, but it didn't really break open. It's got a crack, but nothing came up. And I heard of some pops, but that was it. We're now going to probably uh, try and actually dissect it. Yeah, we could open it up. I guess. How are we gonna? Uh, you were gonna cut it in half with your knife. Yeah. All right, that's fine. I can hold this. You can do that. One second. Why do you need to pull on your... In case it like, explodes, it could be hot. Uh, I like how it, it did cook somewhat. Yeah, it's cooked somewhat. It's just the yolk didn't. No, the yolk. Maybe if it was on long enough. So that's how you semi cook the inside of an egg how from you a fridge. Partially hard, hard boil an egg. Yeah. 
Alright, now maybe we'll add some other stuff burning or something or other. Or whatever. So, so it's Easter, so why not melt some chocolate bunnies? Uh, this guy right here is going to fight the laser beam. Um, I'm going to start the video after I start up the laser because I can't be uh, filming while I turn the laser on. That would be kind of hard. Um, this is probably really bright, so I probably am breaking my camera. <clears throat> I've got it unfocused. I'm going to actually move the little Easter guy since then I won't break it. And let's see if I can melt him a little bit. I got smoke. It's pretty cool looking. So when the Wicked Laser is uh, Arctic 1000 milliwatt is working, it's pretty amazing. It's very impressive, but uh, getting it to stay on, not, not too easy most of the time. I mean, I could just have a faulty example, but this seems to always happen to me. I know looking through the glasses, this looks really cool, but I don't know how it's actually showing up on camera. I can feel the heat from here, that's pretty impressive. Alright, I'm going to leave that be and see the results. Since I had a good bit of luck there keeping it on. Alright, so uh, here's the... Let me... Make this so it's not quite as bright. Take off my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. Here's the damage. He's mostly just blackened, I guess. I mean, there's some melting going on, but it mostly just carbonized the crap out of him. But I guess a laser will do that. Um, where I didn't hold it as steady, you can see kind of like some of the like little trails it left. A little bit. All right, now we're going to use a torch. Again, torch, I think personally a better product. It just burns the crap out of everything. It seems to work most of the time. And I'll go to that in a second. Alright, it's on? Yeah, yeah, no. No, no. 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 Alright, so this is the torch. The torch at work. A lot better. Yeah, it's it's a lot brighter too. Yeah, you probably can't see much of this, but that's okay. You can see the effects. Alright, I'll drop it a little bit lower there. Alright, set up. It's doing alright. So Chocolate's far. invincible. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I see some smoke now. Mm, my fancy uh, cheese, cheese wood. <laughs> Chocolate smoking wood. So this is pretty impressive. It smells but... like caramel. Mmm. It's red on the front. <laughs> Dominique, you too? Yeah, yeah. I wish we too old watch my videos. If only. It's alright. Takes a few seconds to get the boiling point, but once that happens, goodbye. Hello. I'm getting so hot right now. Oh man, chocolate. It's so awesome. So if you just want to burn stuff, yeah, the torch, that's what you buy. Yeah, made from the one, the wood one made from fire. <laughs> yeah, but it destroys itself in the process. Uh, Alright, wow, this air thing is like still holding up. It's going to fall down soon though. There we go. He's pretty much cooked. I'm going to stop now probably soon. All right. Let there be light. Slowly. There we go. I can give you some light. Wait a second. All right, so just email us at Total Overkill if you want this. <laughs> this thing. Mm. We, will, we will hand send it to you. This is definitely melted. It's even burned in the middle. Kind of screwed up your uh, camera. Oh. I don't know, permanent. Oh no, it's just because this is a flickering. Watch, it'll change as I go through the modes. And now it's stopped. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's just a Proton Pro. Alright, so yeah, there it is. Melted. Really fast. Wiki Laser's uh, torch. Alright, um, now we're going to use this blowtorch. And then we're going to use that other custom light that didn't really get much use. I just want to note, I noticed when I was walking away, there's chocolate melted onto my flashlight. So I'll replace it. <laughs> Alright, now his torch turn versus chocolate. We were talking earlier about how it needs to uh, get cleaned, but it's still pretty effective. I wonder how long this video will be total. <laughs> oh man. So, uh, rabbits glow? 
green too. Interesting. So that the, they just have a high volume of copper, I guess. They must. This is so exciting! Oh my gosh! This is the best video on YouTube. Duh! Can you imagine if this had a million views? Oh wait, there's videos on YouTube with a million views that are much lamer than this video. Insert picture of something exciting, and then it says, everyone dies in horrendous crash, and then everyone watches it. And then it has that terrible song in the back. You yep. know the one. You know the one. Oh, if only we could insert it for the second. Nah, then everyone would hate us. Alright, so that is... Oh, you're still going. <laughs> oh, it is not a chocolate puddle yet. I'd like to note that this entire time I'm still wearing my laser goggles as if there's going to be a laser beam because everything looks cool when it's red. Dominate. Yeah, dominate. That one jet, though. That one that's still, like, really, like, <laughs> prominent. Oh, man. It's, it's <laughs> effing, effing shit up, man. Okay, I think that's... I, I, I think you can tell that it... Instead of melting, it, it just turns into carbon. <laughs> you better not extinguish that fire. Oh, I won't. All right, so uh, that's, that's the... Uh, we can laser's torch after the laser hit it, and this is an actual, like, almost mini triple flame blowtorch, um, which is still kind of burning. So you can see, I don't know, that was a little bit faster, because this is a, a two-minute video, and the other one was like a two-minute, 20-second video. And now we're going to go for the highest-powered light again. Uh. All right, last test, the 20,000 lumen flashlight. This is, uh, this is going to pwn this rabbit. Uh, everything's white. Someday this bottle's gonna blow. Hope it's blow today. Well, I mean, I'm a lot of smoke today. I'm just pointing this out. You <laughs> cannot see the rabbit on on the camera. No, not at all. <laughs> oh, so if, if it is not gone, <laughs> oh, it's going to be gone. All right, so uh, it's like gone. Ah, uh, that was it. Just a few seconds. It, like, instant I'm gonna keep going, but it's just to show you how quick that was. Yeah, that was uh, seven minutes. <laughs> you can breathe this. Are you sure? I don't know. I mean, I personally would not eat smokeified sugar. I mean, mm. breathe it. Is that like a drug or something? I'm sure everything can be turned into a drug. Oh, man. <laughs> Is it just white still? Yeah. Darn. Where's the lens on this thing? Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I, th I think that's enough. Uh... <laughs> it looks like something that comes out of animals. Yeah, if you set them on fire. Yeah, you didn't know that's. Oh, there's like liquid on the bottom. <laughs> All right, so that was that's twenty thousand lumens.